In this video, I'm going to show you how to make sure that you're actually printing in the center of your print bed using the Marlin firmware, and we're starting right now. Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome to the Crosslink channel. I'd like to help you being more successful with 3D printing. And if you're here for the first time, please consider subscribing so you don't miss anything. So why is printing in the center of the print pad important? Normally, if you do small prints like this little benchy here, it doesn't really matter if you're a little bit off to the side or to the back with your print centering. But as soon as you start to print larger things and you really want to make use of the whole printing area and you really want to go closer to the edge, it's really important that you're actually centered with your prints. Otherwise, you might run over the edge with the print nozzle and that's what we don't want to do. And we're going to fix this today by using some configuration settings in the modern firmware. So to start this process, the first thing you need to do is you take a long ruler and you make two diagonal lines from the corners of the print bed to the uh, opposite corners. And then you have a crosshair across your print bed and you will see that in the middle day lines cross and that's the center of your print bed. So let's talk about the prerequisites for this procedure now. First thing you want to make sure is that you're actually able to flash the Marlin firmware to your printer. So if you've never done that, I encourage you to watch my videos about this. There is a series of videos about how to flash the Marlin firmware to your printer. So go watch that first and then come back to this video. Otherwise stay with this video and then we're going to continue. So the next thing we're going to do is to print out a big crosshair that's going to show us how far we are off to either side, uh, just to illustrate uh, what the default settings of Marlin firmware are. And then from there on, we are going to recalibrate the printer to be actually printing in the center of the print bed. So the test print is done and you can already see that my printer is printing a little bit too far to the back of the printer. Here you can see that this is about one centimeter too far. And also on the back corner of the printer, you can see that the material that's actually supposed to be on the print pad has somehow already fallen over the edge. So that's bad. We need to fix that, of course. Then we have another deviation here to the left. Uh, it's a little bit less, maybe half a centimeter. And we also want to fix that um, to avoid that we at some point print over the edge if we will have some really large prints. So the first step in the calibration process is to go to your Marlin firmware configuration file and find a value that's called xminpos. And that's going to be some value. It doesn't matter what value it actually is currently because that's coming from the default configuration file for your printer. And the first thing we want to do is set those values, the X min pos and the Y min pos to zero. Uh, why is that? We want to make sure that we are actually doing the calibration from scratch. We want to do some new calibration values. So we first want to make sure that we remove everything else that has been preset. So let's start by doing this, setting these values to zero. So now you're saving the file and then we're starting the upload process to the printer. So we're actually flashing this default configuration file to the printer. And then from there we continue. Uh, come on. And done. So the next thing I'm doing is I'm using a software that's called Pronterface. You can use any kind of software that can control a 3D printer. Uh, for example, also the Octoprint software is able to do that, but I'm using Pronterface. I'm putting a link in the description down below. It's an open source freeware product. So we're using that to um, move the nozzle around and find the center spot. So let's start by opening Pronterface. Um, don't forget to close the Arduino software before that. So now I've opened Pronterface and in Pronterface, we want to connect to the printer first. So by doing um, a connect here, you select the right COM port and then default volt rate and then connect to the printer. And once you've done that, you can hit the auto home button here. Uh, it's the lower left button. Don't forget to do that first before you do anything else and make sure that the printer is auto homing correctly. So the next thing we need to do is to move the nozzle to the actual center point that we have marked with the crosshair on the heat bed. And for that, I hope you can see the nozzle now. Um, I've removed the actual uh, filament fan 
uh, to make the nozzle a little bit better visible. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use Pronterface uh, to move the nozzle just a little bit down by uh, around about, yeah, a few millimeters. So it's a little bit closer to the bed now. So well, that should be fine. And now I'm using Pronterface to move the nozzle to the center of the print bed by one millimeter increments. So. Yeah, that's looking good. We're probably perfectly in the center now. And now since we've put the nozzle in the center of a print bed, we can look at the actual printer's display. So here we go, we have two values now, which is X146 and Y114. So now you're finally ready to calculate the offset values for the Marlin firmware configuration. We are quickly doing this here. So my values are X146 and Y114 for the absolute position of the nozzle in the center of the print bed. And we now have to define an offset value. And you have to know that the offset value is calculated from the center of the print bed. So if you imagine the center of the print bed, that's at a value of 110 for X and 110 for Y. And to calculate the offset value, we take this value and then we subtract our actual position. So if we have an X value of 146, we're going to take 110 minus 146. And for the Y value, we're going to take 110 minus 114. So that gives us two new offset values, minus 36 for the X offset and uh, minus four for the Y offset. So now we have our offset values calculated. So we need to put them in the configuration file, but we're going to put them in two different configuration lines. The first line that you need to find is called manual X home pass. So I'm going to search for that line. And here you see these lines are normally commented out. So you comment them in and then you're going to put your two new offset values into these positions here. So I'm using my minus 36 and minus four, putting them into these lines. So next step is to upload the firmware to the printer. And then we're going to see whether we're actually landing in the center spot when we position the nozzle at a position of 110 and 110, because that should mean that the nozzle is actually placed in the middle of the print bed. Okay, so the final upload is done. So let's open Pronterface again. So I'm connecting to the printer now and I'm doing the auto home first. Okay, and now I'm positioning the printer's nozzle to the absolute position of 110 and 110. So it's done by the command G0, X110, Y110 and set two. So I'm making sure that the nozzle is pretty close to the surface so I can actually see if I'm really over the spot and sending out that command right now. The printer is moving to the center spot and so that looks pretty good. The nozzle seems to be on spot in the center of the print bed and that means we are done by calibration and we can now be sure that anything that we print to the center actually lands in the center. But let's do the final test print with this big crosshair. So this looks pretty well. I hope the same procedure works for you. Yeah, so the only thing left to say is happy printing. See you next time. Hit the like button, subscribe, do all the good things. Uh, see you next time.